Conveyor safety. Conveyor, a common piece of mechanical handling equipment used to transport materials from one location to another. Conveyor systems are a series of similar or different conveying methods working together to transport materials. There are many different types of conveyors. A few examples of different conveyors are screw, auger, belt, bucket, trolley, roller, slat, reciprocating, and gravity discharge. Pilers are a large conveyor system. These machines traditionally use a series of belt conveyors to unload beets from growers' trucks and then convey them onto a large pile for storage. This process begins at the cross conveyor where beets are unloaded onto a belt conveyor that will empty the beets onto the main incline belt. The main incline belt will then take the beets up to the screen box where they will roll over a series of steel and rubber rollers before discharging onto the boom belt. The boom belt will then convey the beets to their final destination, the beet pile. Cross conveyor belt and main incline belt. Screen rubber rollers and boom belt. Dirt belt. Conveyor safety standards. Conveyor safety standards are set under the MIOSHA standard 1114 part 14. The standard applies to construction, maintenance and operation of conveyors and conveying machinery in about or around employment. The standard does not apply to industrial trucks, underground mining conveyors, passenger conveyors, stacker cranes, driveless electronic tugs, and construction equipment. Employer, provide safeguards, establish an inspection program, provide training. Employees, wear personal protective equipment, Use and do not bypass any safeguards. Do not ride or cross over conveyors. Lubrication. Must comply with General Industry Safety Standard Part 7, Guards for Power Transmission. Lubrication shall be completed by one of the following methods. Completing when a conveyor can be shut off and locked out. Automatic pressure or gravity feed systems extension pipe leading to an area outside of guards or away from hazard. Maintenance. Repairs and cleanup shall be completed with the power off and locked out when the potential for an unexpected motion could cause injury. Walkways or catwalks shall remain clear of obstructions and spills which may create a slipping or tripping hazard. Flammable cleaning fluid used in splicing of belts shall be kept in a fireproof approved safety container. Welding, cutting, or smoking shall not be permitted in the area that these fluids are being used or stored. Guards shall be provided where hazards exist and to protect employees from contact with moving parts where adjustments are required when a conveyor is in operation. Lift or transfer points shall have any nip point guarded and comply with power lockout rules. Indexing conveyors shall be guarded preventing an employee from being caught or trapped by sudden movement of the conveyor. Guarding provided preventing employee becoming caught or entrapped between the conveyor and any stationary or moving parts. Conveyors passing over a walkway, passageway, or work area shall provide pan or screen type guarding with sides preventing injury from falling material. The guard shall be capable of withstanding maximum impact load. Counterweights. Counterweights and its pulleys shall be enclosed. Counterweights and its pulleys suspended more than seven feet about the floor or ground in an area where an employee could walk shall have an enclosure around the area of impact or a catch pan under the counterweight of the such strength and designed to hold the counterweight and pulley from dropping to the ground or surface. When attached to an arm, they shall have measures installed to prevent detachment from arm. Take ups. When used to maintain tension on a conveyor, the spring and assembly shall be constructed to retain spring in case of breakage. Passageways and walkways. Shall not have less than 5 feet of headroom except a main aisle shall not leave less than 80 inches of headroom. Where the headroom is less, notice of low headroom must be provided. Shall not be less than 18 inches wide. Adjustment. 
Conveyors capable of adjustment to variable fixed elevations shall be equipped with a locking device to hold the conveyor at any altitude where failure to hold would create a hazard to an employee. Structural support. Structural supports of a conveyor shall be designed and constructed with a minimum design safety factor of at least three, which shall include static and dynamic loads. Safety factor equals strength over max stress. Belt conveyors using a belt tipper or other moving deflector, which requires an operator to travel on the belt tripper, shall have the operator's platform designed to safeguard the operator from falling or encountering moving or stationary parts. A nip point at a pulley shall be guarded by an enclosure or barrier constructed to prevent access by an employee's body members or loose clothing. A belt conveyor for bulk material shall have built up sides where material spilling over the sides is a hazard. A pulley with rotating shaft shall have projecting shaft ends covered or cut flush with the hanger. A shuttle or movable hopper mounted on wheels shall have sweeps fastened ahead of the wheels with an opening of not less than 3 eighths inches between the sweep and the rail. Roller conveyor with a hinge section or with an open discharge end shall be equipped with a stop device projecting above the rollers which shall prevent materials from being discharged of the conveyor unless designed to discharge. Nip points between power and idler rolls shall be eliminated by one of the following. Idler roller set in a 45 degree inclined slot in the direction of travel. Steel plates welded between rolls with a maximum of 1 8 inch between plate and rolls. Idler roll set in a horizontal slot and connected with an interlock switch which will stop the conveyor. A device offering equal or better protection may be substituted. Nip point between belt and carrier roller on a belt drive live roller conveyor shall be protected by pop out type carrier rollers of steel plates. The belt conveyor shall be guarded. Starting. Starting button shall be equipped with a device to prevent accidental actuation. Shall not be started until employees in the area are alerted by a signal or by the person that is going to start the conveyor. Wired so that after an interruption of service, the conveyor shall not automatically restart. Emergency stops shall be available at each point of operation where a hazard exists and within reach of an employee at that point. Emergency stop device of the momentary contact type shall have the means of being maintained by a device in the off position. If more than one e-stop is equipped, they must be wired so that the conveyor can only be restarted at the location of initial stoppage shall be distinguished by its red color. Conveyors in a series shall be electrically interlocked so that when any conveyor in the series stops, the upstream conveyors to stop if continued operations creates a hazard. Grounding. Required where explosion hazards exist. Eyes and face. Safety glasses with side shields. Hands. Appropriate gloves for protection. Clothing. Long sleeves with shirts buttoned. No loose fitted clothing. Avoid wearing jewelry. We appreciate you all for taking the time to watch and listen to this video. Your safety is our number one priority. We want to wish you all a safe, successful, and happy harvest. Thank you.